Well, I think the Middle Beast Festival is, is going to be very unique because not only most of the DJs have never played there, but also most of the people that are going to come have never experienced anything like this. So this is, this is pretty unique for me as an artist because, you know, like I've been touring for many years and of course it's, it's cool to do one more show in Ibiza, you know, one more show in, in Vegas or, or in Miami or, you know, but this is special because there are not many places where really you can feel the enthusiasm of the first time, you know, like, I don't really know what to expect, and I'm sure they don't know what to expect. And that's so exciting. For the show, for sure, I'm gonna play some of my classics, uh, you know, for, for people to sing along to, and, and you know, uh, bringing that emotion, that's, that's what I do, and that feel good. Uh, but also, like, I'm super inspired in the moment, I'm making a, a lot of new records, and um, I have this new sound that I'm really excited about, and, you know, I've been testing it the entire summer, so I'm also going to play a lot of new music uh, that doesn't sound like any, anything else. And also, because uh, I want to make it unique, uh, I, I want to I bring some uh, uh, like Arabic classics that, uh, you know, I'm going to remix to make the show really unique um, because people never heard this music sounding like this. It's a, a very exciting to play for a whole new crowd. So it's the first time in Riyadh. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, next year, I'm going to release a lot of music next year. So I haven't released much this year, like a couple of songs, Ritual and uh, God is a Dancer with Mabel. But next year, I'm going to release a lot more. And an album is coming. And um, they're going to be pretty much, yeah, more producing than DJing, actually. So it, I don't DJ as much as this year, but more focusing on the production work. So, yeah, and hopefully play uh, lots of festivals in, in, the, in the Middle East and the Middle Beast. <laughs> it's a very special location to play and I've never been there. So for me, I've seen the whole world. I've never seen Saudi Arabia like that. So it's, it's, it's going to be incredible. I'm super excited. I think in general, music plays a whole uh, a re really good part in uh, making people happy, in bringing people together, and I think doing that with a festival is one of the per perfect ways because, you know, people at the end, you know, no matter where you're from, they want to have a good time, have fun, enjoy music, and you know, music brings people together. You know, advice is to be confident and believe in yourself, but also, you know, work hard when no one is looking. You know, of course, you know, like uh, when you're working on an idea, you have like a vision that this person would fit it really well. And, uh, you know, then you have to be lucky that it's the right song and the person is interested in working together. And I just got really lucky with Zane. I like visualize if, if I could flip it, you know, if it's a more slower song, if I could flip it to something more dense, you know, even like I did Ellie Golding this year and the original was quite slow. But then in my, in my mind, I had an idea like how to flip it. And that is... Uh, know what I did. Um, I think dance music is going to grow, get bigger and it's going to conquer new markets that haven't been conquered yet and I think Saudi Arabia is one of them, you know, like the people are, you know, not yet as familiar as for example, you know, in like in Holland where I'm from, where dance music has been on the radio for 20, 30 years or even longer, house music. So this is going to be something new and something special for them and I feel like when it's new and special and with the execution that the Middle Beast have, it's gonna be, it's gonna be special, and it's gonna take it to the next level. Um, I think this is a feeling, like you feel something in the crowd, and it's like that's one of the things that's like unexplainable. I, like I'm quite scientific in uh, in a lot of things, but you know, energy of people, something you know, the excitement of crowd, that's just just a feeling that you have to embrace and you know reflect. And if you're enthusiastic, that's contagious. So yeah, I just, I just try to feel it. Yeah, of course, I always strive to have a lot of success with records, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes not. I mean, I just got lucky and it was the right moment, the right time. And, you know, and I feel like, you know, if you work 
a lot and make a lot of stuff, you get lucky a few times. And I got lucky, uh, you know, a few times this year. So. Um, I got the Zane record that just came out, which is very important to me. And then uh, in 2020, I'm going to finish my album. No surprises yet, but expect some surprises. <laughs>